If you're starting university or college soon and you just need some good study methods, then this video is for you. This video is so different from what I usually do because I don't do study related videos, but you guys really wanted to see a study guide and plus it's back to school season. I feel like I've made a pretty good study method that I've been using for high school. I've been starting to use it for university. And so I wanna show that to you guys as a little secret because there really is easier ways to study. Anyone can get good grades as long as you're studying well and doing it the right way. You gotta just work smarter and not harder. So I'm actually a biology major and I'm doing a minor in chemistry. So I have a very STEM background and I'm in my second year of university and STEM majors can be pretty hard. Any major is hard, honestly. I just feel like there's just different ways of studying for different majors. So this whole video is more focused on STEM majors. That includes math, science, technology. What's the E? I don't remember. Okay, so first off, I do study in my basement. That is usually where I study because there's a desk right here. There's also a desk upstairs in my room. I don't really use it and study in my room sometimes, but coming to the basement, it's just so much better and it's so much quieter. It's have a set place where you do studying because it makes it more efficient. Even if you need to change things up, I recommend going to a library or even your school's library because I get a lot of work done at my school library. It's actually so weird so just say i have a big assignment or some homework to do i'll come back from school i'll take all of my notebooks out my first year notebooks that i've used i'll set them down another key thing is my laptop because i take my notes on here i have a pen that goes with it so all of my notes are done on OneNote, which is a really really good app and this is not sponsored by OneNote, but that would be so awesome if OneNote did sponsor this video so i'll open my computer i'll take out all of my notes and usually that includes any lecture notes that i take during the lecture i'm going to go to the lecture that I want to review so usually in university it's very different from high school whenever you do a lecture I recommend going over the lecture after you finished it because it's honestly so nice to have it like refreshed in your mind when you just learned it I didn't do this in first year and a lot of the stuff I'm saying in this video is just because I learned that you should be doing this stuff I'll read through the lecture a few times and I will try to actively recall it I'll even like cover parts of the slide and see if I can remember any of that stuff honestly rereading it isn't going to just help so you're gonna have to do more than that so another thing that I like to do is I'll go to the chapter for this lecture and I'll start writing textbook notes here's an example of one of the textbook notes I did for chemistry first year just have some organic chem here um, I have a practice problem that I saw from the textbook and I really liked it so I had four pages of textbook notes and I think the textbook is so important did I do this enough no I didn't because in a few of my classes I wouldn't even look at the textbook most of my textbooks are online they're not a physical copy so you can easily go online just take notes on the side and you can like reread them a lot of the exam content and a lot of the midterm content is off of your textbook okay so so far in this process i've read my lecture notes i'm going over it reading it a few times and actively saying it out loud then i've written down my textbook notes the next thing i will do is i will take out my whiteboard i have this mini one i used to have a big one in the back so i'll take my whiteboard and i'm going to try teaching myself what i've learned from the textbook reading and then also from my lecture slides and i'll basically just write it out for example I'm just gonna teach myself okay well strong acids and bases dissociate in a water or solution always and I'll go over my reading stuff close them down and try to like explain like okay this is a water molecule this really helps because I feel like just reading over your notes isn't gonna help you a lot and it's not gonna get you really far. Probably you're not training your brain in any way to memorize any of this content. So I recommend a whiteboard really does help with this stuff. So here I have my little lecture slide. This is from biology and my notes and then whatever my professor is saying, I'm just going to write it on the side. And whenever I have a quiz or something, I'll read through these lecture slides and read my annotated notes. One thing I like about OneNote is that you can actually change the colors of your like pen as well. Changing the color of your pen and stuff makes it so much easier because your brain actually attracts to different colors and it helps you memorize more. And then in the beginning of first year, I actually used to start making Cornell notes. This was where I went wrong. I was going to lectures and trying to write down these Cornell notes, even though the lecture slides were posted and it did not 
not help at all. Coronel notes are nice. It's a note-taking method where you have questions on the side, you have your description, and then you have a summary on the bottom. It is a really nice process and it looks really nice as notes. But I repeat, don't do it during a lecture because you're just gonna miss a lot of information that's already written out for you. I've been speaking for too long. Now for me, as a biology major, I actually have a lot of labs. Like there's so many labs, mostly for first year, there were just so many labs to do. I recommend having a lab notebook. I actually am starting to do this for my second year. So getting a notebook just dedicated for labs is so important. You could do a lot of side work in here. So for example, I just have some notes here that I wanna make sure before I submit a lab. So for example, I need to do a pre-lab here, label, title, and measure when you're doing a diagram. I lost a lot of marks for not writing a title or not even labeling my diagram properly or not even writing the units on the side. You can make a lot of small mistakes when you're doing lab, especially because you're doing the lab and you have to submit it by the end of the lab session. I'm also starting organic chemistry in my second year, so I have this little helpful method. I just have different organic chemistry groups along with their prefixes. If I do forget something during the lab, I can refer back to this note. For example, this is one of the labs that I did and as you can see here, I don't have a caption on the bottom, nor did I write units. So I did lose some marks on this diagram here. So that's why I feel like it's so important to have some notes or some kind of guide. Because for some classes, you're going to have to submit the lab by the end of the lab session. And that's what happened with this one. I was kind of rushing it. So that is why I totally recommend using a lab notebook to stay on top of your labs so that you don't lose stupid marks like I did. But I just want to give you guys some tips for high school and just university in general because I feel like I've learned a lot from those experiences and I just want to let you guys know what I've learned. So one thing's for sure, when you need help, go to your teachers or your professor's office hours. If your college or university has any like resources like workshop, little sessions or like peer tutoring sessions, for sure go to those as well. I didn't do that enough in first year and I really think I should have. Another thing is at least set one or two hours in your day just dedicated for studying. I know it can be kind of hard with the amount of things you have to do in the day but for sure at least like two hours three hours max is good changing where you study also kind of helps sometimes another thing is make friends because when you make friends they can actually help you as well and it just makes university so much more fun and that concludes this video i really don't have many other tips that i can give you guys i'll leave some in the comments if i do remember anything for anyone starting university soon or college don't stress it it's really not that bad i feel like when you're in high school people make it look really scary but it's really not that bad if you just study properly and you go to class and you do your best you should be fine i hope everyone does have a good back to school season but i will see you guys later bye guys